This is the warm-up for lesson 3-6. So going over the warm-up questions, we're going to solve for the given variables. So number one, we're going to solve for y. So I'm trying to get y by itself. So I'm going to subtract the 3x from both sides, and I get y is equal to 14 minus 3x, or you could write y is equal to negative 3x plus 14. It doesn't matter. Number two, we're going to solve for x. So I'm going to get the x by itself, so I've got to get rid of the 8y. So I'm going to subtract that. From both sides, so much with negative x, don't lose your sign, equals negative 8y minus 24, or, well, you could have switched that around. We'll talk about that in just a second. And then I don't care about negative x, I want to be, I want to have positive x, so if I multiply by negative 1 and multiply everything on the other side by negative 1, I'm going to have positive x equals positive 8y plus 24, and that's what x is equal to. Now you also could say x is equal to 24 plus 8y. It doesn't matter for what we're doing. Okay, number three, we're solving for y, so I'm going to subtract 4x. So y is equal to negative 3 minus 4x, or you could say y is equal to negative 4x minus 3. Later on, we'll see that this is what we call standard form, and so that's generally how I write it. But for what we're doing right now, it doesn't really matter. Okay, the next one we're going to solve for x, so I'm going to add 10y to both sides. And so I'm going to have x is equal to 30 plus 10y, so I'm going to write 10y plus 30. Okay, number five, we're going to simplify. And so when it says to simplify, it means combine your like terms, multiply, distribute, whatever you can do to simplify the problem. So we're going to have y, and then it says subtract two times. So we're going to have to do the two times. And so we're going to be distributing. So minus two times y, and then the negative two also gets multiplied by the negative one. So that's plus two. Now to combine the like terms, I'm going to have one y minus two y is negative one y plus two. And that's your answer. Number six, I'm going to distribute. So I'm going to have 2 times 3y and 2 times 1 minus 6y. Like terms, 6y take away 6y is gone, and I'm just left with 2. Number seven, I'm going to distribute. So I'm going to have negative 4y plus 10 plus 4y. So the negative 4y plus 4y, they're gone, and I'm just left with 10. Number 8, it says 5x subtract 3 times. So you're going to have to do the multiplication first because of order of operations. So I'm going to write 5x. The negative 3 is going to get multiplied by the 4x. And the negative 3 gets multiplied by the 8. Now I'm going to combine my like terms, 5x minus 12x. And that's my answer. Okay, going to the last two questions in the warm-up, we're going to solve by substitution, so what we already know. So number 9, the second equation is solved for y. So it says y equals 3x plus 5, so I'm going to take that and put it in the other equation for y. So 4x minus, and then use parentheses when you're substituting. It really, really helps keep track of the signs, because if you didn't use parentheses, it, there's a very high chance you got this wrong. So I'm going to have 4x, I'm going to subtract the 3x, and here's where a lot of you missed it, is right here, you have to subtract the 5 also. So if you have 4x minus 3x plus 5, that's because you didn't put parentheses and you didn't distribute the subtraction. So 4x take away 3x is x, minus 5 is equal to negative 1, I'm going to add 5 to both sides, and so x is equal to 4. Now I have to find out what y is, so I'm going to take the x equals 4, and I'm going to plug it back in right there. So y is equal to 3 times 4 plus 5, so that's 17. So my solution is 4, 17. Okay, and then number 10, I'm going to take this 4x, and I'm going to plug it in for y right there. So 12x equals 3 times 4x minus 1. So 12x is equal to 12x minus 1. I'm going to subtract 12x. And that leaves me with 0 equals negative 1. When is that true? It's never true. So the answer to this is no solution. There is no solution.